tutorial we are going to learn about how Apache Kafka we can install into the, our Windows system. The first and most required thing before to installation of the Kafka we need to install the Java 8. So if in your system any lower version than Java 8 you need to be upgrade your Java version and then after this installation will be happen. So how we will check our Java version in our Windows system? So just open a command prompt and write Java version. So here you can see that uh, uh, in my system the Java version is 1.8 uh, and it's a sub version with the 2.9.1. So I am good enough here to get a start with the Kafka installation. Okay, so that is the first verification which already I did it. And then the next step we are going to download the Kafka. So these are the uh, URL which I am going to search on my browser. And let's see. So it will open your Kafka page where we can see a multiple version over here and you can download the Kafka from uh, this website so go to this where and download this URL I already downloaded this version in my local system so I'm just uh, open the my downloaded uh, file okay so here uh, you need to just extract the file and after the abstraction you can see all the folders over here now next thing you need to do that whatever the version you have downloaded uh, of this Kafka you need to copy to your C drive okay whatever drive you want to copy you can copy that as well so I have copied it to my into my software C software Kafka this uh, folder I paste over here okay till now we are good okay now what we will do let's see uh, how we will execute some of the command and verify some uh, key storage of the Kafka is okay or not Okay, whatever the binary we have downloaded from the site, it is that presents okay, but we need to be verified properly. Okay, so now it's a software. Okay, so CD software, and then uh, I will CD software. What is my path? Okay, it's a Kafka. Yeah, that's a perfect path. Then I will go to uh, my bean. Then I'm using my window system. So this is a window. And within that window, I need to execute this command. Okay, so I will execute that. Let me in. Okay, so here you can see. Okay, so here you can see all this thing here. So what I will do, I will just go up. So here you can see that after executing of Miss uh, Kafka topic command. So it will give you uh, instructions like create, delete, describe or uh, change a topic and these are the options which uh, we have to play with uh, uh, Kafka. So those are the things we will cover uh, later in the in our practical session but uh, this is just for information perspective I am just giving you update on this. Okay. So now as you see that I came to this particular path and then after I execute this uh, command there's a Kafka topic dot path but I want to run it from anywhere uh, anywhere from any path so how I can do so we need to be do a setup for the environment path so what we will do go to the environment and within the environment you need to click on the advanced and click on environment variable uh, you need to do a setup for the path variable so click on path okay then uh, click as edit then you can add as a new and add the path over here so in my system already I added uh, my path is C software that is uh, my Kafka path and bean and window which uh, I have given so that path we can get it from here the bean and window so that path you have need to be copy and you have to save it over here okay make sense okay now now uh, we, okay so environment variable is already set so we need to just uh, check uh, with this command key are we able to execute this command uh, uh, from the uh, any uh, path so you can see that uh, we are getting the results so the environment setup is completely done okay 
Now next step we are going to install the Zookeeper. So Apache Kafka is unable to run without installing the Zookeeper. So when we are working with the Kafka Zookeeper having a very important role. So that we will uh, cover on the theoretical part but uh, just need to be understand about what this Zookeeper will do and what are the setup and installation are required. Okay. <clears throat> so first what we have to do. Uh, whatever the installations we did it uh, you need to go into that uh, Kafka folder and create a new folder as uh, data so for this uh, uh, session already I have created this data folder and within this data folder we have to create a two another folder one is a Kafka and another one is a zookeeper okay so first we, we are going to do the setup for the <coughs> zookeeper so what we will do, we will copy this Zookeeper folder and back to configuration setup area. So we will go to the config area and open the Zookeeper to properties or properties file. So within this Zookeeper property file, we have to update the data directory. So whatever the new folder which we have created, we have to paste over here. Okay, then save the file and close it. Now second thing, we have to open the server.property file and within this server.property file we have to update the log directory and this log directory we will give you a path for the kafka so all the uh, logs will be stored in this area so this is log directory we need to update it so these two folder we have created newly okay and then close the uh, property file now uh, the setup wise or set, uh, configuration wise we are good now we are just uh, run the zookeeper so first we need to be run the zookeeper so i what we have to do we have a command as a zookeeper server start dot bat and it requires the one parameter as a zookeeper property file okay so what i will do i will open my command prompt <coughs> and paste this thing and start it Okay, so here you can see that the zookeeper is started properly uh, with uh, their port running is a 2181. So when it is showing like this, uh, it seems that the zookeeper working fine. Okay, the uh, the installation setup and everything done. Now we what we will do? Zookeeper is keep uh, is running well. There is a not issue over there. If you are facing any issue to running Zookeeper, uh, so you can just drop uh, or uh, you can just write on the comment box so I can get back to you what was the exact reason for that. Okay, now what we will do, we are going to run the Kafka. Okay, so let me open <coughs> what I will do, I will open the command prompt, separate command prompt. Okay and execute this command as a kafka server dot bat properties file okay and i paste it and then hit command here now you can see that uh, <coughs> it is also running successfully connection is properly done you can see that the localhost 2181 it is connected with the zookeeper so kafka is uh, successfully connected with the cube uh, Zookeeper. So if you are facing any issue while uh, uh, connecting Kafka with the Zookeeper again, uh, just drop me, uh, just drop a comment uh, so I will get back to you.